Hi everyone, hope you all are uh, doing really well and preparing really well and uh, just wanted to say thank you for all the good comments you have guys done it and that really motivates me towards making the new videos and coming with more you know useful content for you guys and there are more coming in and uh, just stay tuned for that and now we're going, going to move with detailed description of how you you test an e-commerce project okay how you test an e-commerce project which all functionality needs to automate an e-commerce project so if you see the e-commerce project is very vast and this might be the interview questions like what all functionality you automate because if you see the e-commerce application is quite big so uh, what all areas you really need to cover uh, when you do e-commerce testing e-commerce works on e-commerce domain so you cannot directly go and jump in here and there you cannot do the monkey testing right but uh, yeah you'll be doing some particular kind of testing there areas where you need to concentrate in terms of e-commerce testing yeah so let's move so the primary goals of an e-commerce application site is to sell good online right so these are the words you have to use okay the primary goals of the e-commerce application was to sell goods right so the project deals with developing on e-commerce websites for online product sales. So it, it, it provides the user with a catalog of different, these kind of words you have to use, the catalog of different products available for purchase in the store in order to facilitate online purchase and a shopping cart is provided to the user. So that's how it is happening. Like if you go to Mintra or Amazon, so you will be having the catalog of products, right? Where you can filter sort many kind of things you will be doing so those are the test those have involved testings like if you do a lot of filters like branding filter color filter size filters so how that thing works then you do the sorting like price low to high high to low so uh you know when you do the sorting and when you add the product and then remove the product so how your pricing will happens and when you add the product you that will shown it your it into your cart okay so uh, this is this is the e-commerce domain looks like so if you it, it's basic, basically of domain thing like how it domains work okay so user okay so user will come view the item purchase the items and instantly online shopping happens okay and what about the visitor sometimes visitor comes view items registers and then just went away like maybe some people comes okay we'll check it in different um, some we just go and see the price of an app, uh, item and then we don't buy it we thought of buying it in later we can make it move to uh, wish list so that also pe that kind of visitor also comes in okay and um, there are a lot of people who comes in and then just left the item in the card and just left it okay they don't buy it so those kind of like some people will come and move to wish list some people don't even move to wish list don't add it in the card just come and see your application okay so that's called as a visitor then we have an admin right so you can see all like what you know the visitors you know have these access like they can only view items and registers so when admin have admin can view the items purchase the item instant pay registers track add items so these are the things which admin does it okay and the, your instant pay is shouldn't be like these are the very important questions so how your payment process so payment is processed through different application itself it's not processed through it's navigate you to the different side which is phone pay google pay or any of your pay whatever you use um, that will handle the payment uh, payment area wherein the, there's the integrations of the apis here so apis works plays their roles wherein here all these details has been sent to the uh, not the payment uh, like the item details only the payment part like the payment description as this amount has to be taken from the customer this amount has to be deducted from the customers from your account so and then those also act in, as a media for your account okay and the account transactions happens through bank okay so that's how it is happening so uh, now the home page um, like if somebody asks you tell me the scenarios for the home page what, what all functionality you like to check can you describe me what all items should be there in the home page so we have search menu we have product categories we have notifications we have liked or safe for later we have card details of the sites offers account sections sales product category and explore your home page does have these all items so even if you're a developer and you're developing uh, e-commerce sites and if you're working on tdd model so these all things you should be knowing 
okay so these are the things you should be knowing to design your test cases right if you're working on team uh, tdd right tdd approach so you're gonna have these you should be knowing that home page does have these many categories and th that should have this, these many items so you should be knowing prior to your requirement comes in these are the things which you have to design as per you can create a classes for these things and uh, once uh, you know you get the requirement you start coding for it so that's how it is so in a in a process of explaining probably you get a lot of information from my end so that's why i wanted to, to you guys just don't come and say that you want this slide because most of the time i also lost the slides because there are a lot of content i have it and the second thing uh, there are a lot of informations i'll be sharing while presenting to you so i think my presentations are not very big like 40 or one hour i think it's hardly take half an hour of your time and that gives you a lot of meaningful informations which really help you either in your work or in your interviews so i request you to guys listen it to me and i think i don't talk anything which is irrelevant it is always a relevant thing which some or other way you that can help you so product or services page your product pages should include so like what is your service page and the product page should include the page of the the page consists of product details the page appears same for visitors and the users so when user click on any of the product category it will show all the list of all the products it will display sort and the filter functionalities need to create a separate script for sort and filter functionality right when you click on the particular product which includes price size color material brand details as well the multiple pictures of the product right that happens availability of the product wish list add to card product details material detail descriptions about the brand reviews delivery and the service details more search options related to choosing the product authenticity details back on the top logo of the brand so these are the stuffs which has to be there in in the product or the service page so whenever you open your product or the service page you're going to have these informations there and you can even you know um, see the e-commerce application wherein you can see all those details there which is very relevant so that that can help you out in terms of when you say all these things right so interviewer will know that you have worked on even if you never worked on so these are the informations that that helps you know to create an image that you have worked on e-commerce application so you know e-commerce bank and these are the app these are the domains wherein it require a prior experience so even if you don't work these can this these things can help you out so without if you don't have the prior experience right so they will be like you will not get the shortlisted only the resume will not get shortlisted if you don't have the prior experience so that's really matter because a lot of people because they wanted to reduce the people they want, don't want to waste the time because anyway uh, you know you will not get a select because you don't have the prior experience domain experience so uh, if you wanted to increase your chances into this area you really have this is like gonna help you out so verification involves so what all verifications you does so before adding no not only shortlisting the resume you have to clear the interview also right so these will help you to clear the interview so verification involved before adding the product user need to select the quantity and the size add to cart should change into go to cart so these are the verification involved what are the test cases okay add to cart should change into go to cart uh, many people has asked me test cases right so this can help them to uh, create the test so these are the verifications which has to be the test cases okay the validations you will be doing price calculations based on the offers and shipping charges um correct details of price available offers user can remove and add the cart value select an address if a new user need to update the details and the contact and the address information that has the prompt has to come select payment payment validations different mode of payments after payment the status of the product should be ordered or out for shipping or update the cart as well like cart card value should be zero right the card value should not have anything there if the customer yeah and the about us page this page describe about the websites and the owners so i think this all this this slide is very helpful so let's take a second so that you guys can even take a snap of it or probably i i read it very slowly in this slide so that these are the validations you have to do these are the test cases which has which has to be that these are the validation test cases 
okay so like this is like i have once user order item they are able to see the order products and the grand total of those things so you can see here this is the example product quantity product name product amount total quantity total amount taxes and delivery charges these are inclusive of taxes and delivery charges so these are things which has to be there now data description so the database consists of okay uh, user and the admin information is added to the database with the unique id based on their roles okay shopping complete products information is stored in this table orders customer orders product status delivery information is stored in the data table so yeah, yes you have registered through some site so many you will be able to see the application anytime Be why because you have registered the application your id is there in their database you are in their database okay so that's the reason you will be every time you don't need to register and register okay you are the uh, consumer or customer of that application now so that means that your you, your details has been saved as a user under the particular applications database with the unique id okay based on your role okay so data object user id username password email role okay shopping id product product id cost category ima image descriptions order order ids clients product quantity price data ordership so these are things these are th this this kind of database has been designed i users this is very back end information which i think testers also should be knowing like if you wanted to this this is the very basic thing which i think you should be knowing right order ids and for example when you do the testing and you wanted to see your things right you whenever you go and you can track your order and you can see your order details that that means that it, it is there somewhere in the database that is coming from the database itself the details has been coming and uh, how they're gonna fetch is through apis they are fetching the data okay from the database relationships users relationship user id username password email role what they makes they orders order id order order what what is relationships users ka relationship user id usernames in terms of user what are relationships users have as when order has order id order shipped client name product name quantity price date of purchase when you do the shopping shopping id product product id cost category category image description so these are things which is you know these are the interrelated with this uh, with this but when you have in terms of we have three main relationships happening in the e-commerce sites which is or user shippings shoppings and the orders now we just i told you right my slides are not big it's very small i think it just takes up in 20 minutes i think 20 minutes of our time and i think 20 minutes of your time gives you valuable information that makes your day productive so if you listen to me i think that really help you out so security page of the website must be accessed in the way they are intending to be accessed okay included file shall not be accessed outside of the parent file okay administration can only perform as administrative tasks on the page they are privileged to access customer will not be allowed to access the admin so administrator will not be you know purchasing on on your behalf okay and the customer will not do the changes in others orders okay so they will be only access to their register page okay so efficiency and maintainability page load should be written and formatted in timely fashions depending on the request being made so it should be very fast right your application performance thing is very uh, crucial in terms of e-commerce application the performance testing should be in the top so administrator will have the ability to add the aspect of the order forms and product descriptions prices and website sometimes we don't when you call them and ask them to changes when it comes to logistic they won't be able to do it right so sometimes uh, administrator also will not do this particular changes but yes if you wanted to cancel or anything if that can uh, you wanted to edit or anything they can be do it from their system like for example you call them and you wanted to return an applic uh, return and product which you don't want to use it and then they'll be providing you the validate uh, providing you the solutions so those are the administrator roles now that that comes to end of this slide and i think e-commerce domain will be it's a huge and it comes with different uh, whenever i'll get the informations and probably the next video will be the banking application one and uh, um, okay uh, <laughs> 
uh, I'm really sorry for the background noise that has come. So the next video will be on banking application and I think that will also be very helpful and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.